up guys, Kanye with another POV video and today we're going to shoot the beautiful city called Antwerp as you can see and we're going to be mainly using the Canon R6 combined with the Canon RF 28-70 f2 sit back and enjoy guys And there we go guys, let's make another POV video. Let's try to frame the Hilton up in between these branches. <clears throat> Looks pretty dope I think. <clears throat> yeah. Let's try to get a nice look-up shot from the cathedral. The only unfortunate thing is that they've been working and restoring the cathedral for like 500 years or something. It's like never finished. This looks pretty nicely framed. Let's try to get some horizontals too because I feel like I'm shooting vertical way too much just because of freaking Instagram and I want to stop doing that. This one might look pretty cool because I got some pretty cool symmetry over here and the statue on the right is like making the frame a bit more interesting. Let's try a vertical too. Not sure if these will work out, but we'll see. I feel like I'm pretty happy with my edits overall lately, but I just don't feel the compositions anymore. I feel like everything is just way too busy for some reason, but that's just a part of the process, I think, of not being happy with your work anymore that you currently have. And I think that just shows that you're growing as a creator. Just look at the cathedral. I mean, it's so freaking beautiful, but we can't get a decent shot of this which is freaking annoying because we know we have this amazing cathedral over here but we really can't do anything with it let's hope we get some kind of pedal over here because this would make a pretty cool shot but I think we're out of luck on this one <laughs> let's try to take a pretty basic shot of these buildings they look pretty nice and yeah I'll probably remove the cars standing over there because I really don't like seeing them in a frame. Let's try the vertical one too. And there we go. I really didn't ever think anything of this statue, but it's like a pretty important part of history of Belgium, so Maybe we can get something nice out of this. Right now I was shooting on the RF 15 to 35 millimeter f2.8, but I feel like I want to shoot with my RF 28 to 70 f2. Good because it's just such a versatile lens, you know. If I would have now had a 200 millimeter, I could get that little top over there. Would be pretty cool, but we don't have that. So yeah. See you, Matthijs. Yeah. Thank you. Probably won't use this photo, but whatever. 
Not every photo can be a banger. Oh, I said auctions. We just spotted this sick car. Oh. The weird thing is that whenever I'm on the street and I'm shooting things, I just usually, usually shoot architecture for some reason. And I don't know why, because I also shoot lifestyle products and cars. And there are so many freaking cool cars on the streets and for some reason I don't shoot them but you'll see more of that in this one <laughs> <laughs> I just took one car <laughs> I think this will make a pretty cool shot with the lights underneath oh yeah this one is gonna be freaking good see so nice with the lichtjes and also the frame around yeah I will definitely post this one. Oh, there's a oh, Kayani. <laughs> oh, this is another freaking banger. <laughs> These lights give such a beautiful natural bokeh of the light. Oh, another cool car. For real, I just love this freaking setup. I mean, the Canon R6 combined with the 28 to 70 is just so freaking amazing. The colors render so beautifully, and having the ability to shoot at f2 from 28 to 70 is just so freaking amazing, man. I'm so grateful that I got these. I mean. It's pretty easy to feel like you're not content with what you have and always wanting to get the next thing. Like me, for example, I really want a Ronin RS2 right now and a Canon RF 70 to 200, but I really need to save up right now. So I really just should hold off for a bit right now <clears throat> man the last time i've i mean over the last period i've been incorporating a lot of foreground elements in my shots and they look so much better instead of just regular compositions At least if they don't distract what you're shooting. Let's see if Tommy Shelby is keen to get some photos of his with a little bit of bokeh. give a dry. Maybe we can get a cool shot of this old school Jag. Jaguar. With this nice building in the background. <laughs> mm, looks okay, but nothing that special. The Volvo car over there looks freaking dope, but I don't like shooting it while someone's still sitting inside it. But I like the composition though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was not good out. <laughs> <laughs> this Porsche looks freaking dope. Yeah, but it's all cool.
Ja. Maar die auto's de rechter moeten weg. This car just looks so freaking dope. That I really wanted to get this shot. But I find it pretty annoying that the person is still inside the car. So yeah. Okay, my battery died, but we're back in the business. And we just found a pretty cool spot over here. The lighting and the shadows over here are just freaking great. Yep. And in front of us, there's a freaking cool spot. Eigenlijk moet dat nu een weg tot dat er hier iemand passeert. Hmm, deze could turn out pretty good. Oh, these light rays. These light rays are beautiful. I just need a pretty good subject right now. Aha, there we have her. This interior looks freaking dope. <laughs> Oh, misschien hier die. Oh, die gaan nice zijn. Nee, het ziet toch een de foto van het product. Hij is een beetje meer opzij, want je kunt die reflectie niet perfect. Oh, deze wil ook wel zijn. Ik heb een keer een beetje van een do this more often like look into interiors of cafes and restaurants because I just love how much depth we can create with how much depth we can create with these with these streets in Antwerp I really didn't pay much attention to this before but now that I'm really taking my time to evaluate my environment Oh, you got near me. I should take a look. I'm going to do it as if I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it as if I'm going Uh, the woman sitting under the tree is just so freaking cool. I don't know why, but it just gives this really cool effect. But the only thing that bothers me is the uh, people standing behind her. So if I stand right here, I can Photoshop, Photoshop them out of it. This is a bit too much. Yeah, this will do. Framing the building up beautifully between the branches of the tree. And there we go. Yeah, I didn't have a young cadric lot of zine. Ik blijf eens even staan gewoon. Ik ga gewoon zo naast u trekken. Allee, zo. Ik ben net zo uit, uit frame bent. Allee, hoe is hier? Look up on my camera. 
Ja, maar het kan al lang gezien. Oh, beter. Beetje van hoofd. <laughs> Wacht, hè. Let's try to wait over here until uh, an interesting subject passes by. Huh? That's it again for today's YouTube video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And just take a moment to look at how beautiful outside looks right now. And I'm wearing my hoodie because it's freaking cold right now. So guys, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this POV video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like these in the future. Creators, that is it again for today. See you in the next one. Come out. Peace.